question though, because so you seem like you have a good vast music knowledge, right, and everything. Like because you said, you know, you listen to a lot of things. Have you listened to a Biggie album yet, bro? <laughs> Why? Listen, let me clear this up. <laughs> let me clear this up though. I gotta clear this up. <laughs> Here's my thing. <laughs> I don't listen to albums like that in general. Okay. So here that was that was the thing I don't think I've never cleared up. So it wasn't that it's just directed to Biggie. It's just the fact that I don't be listening to albums like that. Like if I've listened to your whole album, that means you got a good album. Right. But most of the time I'm kind of just like, if I didn't got the track seven and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start hitting a couple skips. Uh, because I like my mind consistently moves, so I like different things. Right. And stuff like that. So, but if it got a good flow and a good consistency to it, I'm all down for it. So, I just haven't necessarily listened to a lot of like full albums in their entirety. But I'm starting to now because again, a lot of stuff was uh, a lot of stuff was cut off to me too. Like I said, right. I grew up in the South during the time where um, New York didn't consider us rap. Yeah, no, I remember that. Like, uh, I remember that. Yeah, so they cut everything off to us. So it was just like, yo, like I didn't get a chance to hear Jay Z's first album. I didn't get a chance to hear the Locks' first album. I didn't get a chance to hear like Wu Tang's hits like that. Like everything was either populated from West Coast or to the South, or just a few things from like maybe Chicago, like Do or Die, uh, St. Louis, and just stuff like that. And then again, like I said, having a father that just only listens to, you know, shit that make you. Right. <laughs> you you're not you're not finna hear Can I Live by Jay Z right. in, in track. And so, you know, and so that's why I missed out on a lot of that. So now as an adult, I'm starting to catch up on that coast of music and starting to see like, oh, okay, this is tight. But I have listened to Biggie's music, okay? <laughs> so just to be clear. Here's the thing. So your your original when you said about it being you being cut off, I understood that. And I was like, all right, well, maybe with enough time. He's he's done listening to it, so I was like, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him on it. But here, th this is also with my content brain thinking, that be, with because you were caught off of so uh, so uh, so much music, like you should definitely do something where like, okay, Will Ferrell's reaction to listening to this classic album first t for the first time, because I think that that'd be dope. Because with your music knowledge, I do believe that like once you listen to certain ones, like you'll be able to judge it respectfully, you know, you know, and then yeah. from there. So like, I think that it would be really interesting one, because people know based off of Black Blasphemy, they know about it, but like two, it'll be like, oh shit, like, you know, we're going to get a music head opinion that's from a different coast off of this, what is deemed a classic album. Cause like I said, if, if it was anybody else, I'm like, mm, whatever. But like, I, I peeped your music knowledge. So I'm like, I feel like he would appreciate these albums. And I know. Yeah. <laughs> so that's I'm, what everybody keeps telling me. <laughs> it was like, yo, just listen. I was like, yo, I'm going to get to it. I promise you I'm going to get to it. I'm just very slow with music. And it's because of that. It's just like, there's so much of it outside of just one group mm -hmm. of it was genre of music that it's just like, yo, you start hearing something like, oh, and then I'll go down this rabbit hole of like, rock and roll hits and it's just like for the next month i'm just i'm all rock and roll i'm wham bam right now i'm, I'm listening to silver i'm listening to fleetwood i'm out, i'm out here in these streets and i'm still in my little hip-hop playlist but right. now i'll dive into something more and then just keep being able to listen to it and understanding like where they come from knowing what they did like uh like what uh what song was i listening to hella randomly one-eyed joe have you ever heard that song? That, that banjo from? shit, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from when I joke? It just popped up randomly as fuck. <laughs> that is a random ass song to listen to. It is. And so, but thinking about it, I was just like, why the fuck did they make this song? And so I looked it up too. And that was another thing that I love about music because to get the story behind it, One Eye Joe is actually about an STD. A dude with an STD who took the singer's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, like I, I like I, it just it didn't make sense, but it's just like so. Imagine that and being open to all types of genres to music and knowing that all of these songs have different stories, different roots, and stuff like that. So that's why I'm always a little bit more slower to being to the new stuff, right? And it's always trying to catch up with things, unless it just comes smack you in the face, like, oh yeah, I gotta hear this, I gotta hear this album right now. Okay, man, that is. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that song and pay attention to the lyrics now. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. That shit is is crazy. All right, so let's talk arcade tokens, man. Like, how did 